Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for Tuesday, February 7th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. The glory of Christ is revealed. Let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Yesterday, um, your pastors and uh, Pat Rudans from our congregation and Dennis Fletcher, um, as a retired staff minister, uh, attended our our winter pastors conference for our uh, area churches that's um, probably churches that stretch from about Franklin on that side of things up to Waukesha and Pewaukee Sussex and Lannan so pastors from 16 churches I don't know 30 40 guys are there and these conferences happen a few times a year and and it's always an encouragement. Um, we we eat well, and uh, they serve us uh, good food and and drink. And um, there's usually a couple of presentations. Um, this year we were treated to a retired pastor walking us through the seven words of Jesus from the cross, and uh, and then in the afternoon a pastor uh, helped us think through Easter preaching, but did so in a way where we thought not just about those who are normally in the pews, but also um, those who maybe are in the pews once or twice a year, and, and, and how the message might hit them. And there's uh, various reports. Our district president speaks to us and encourages us. We hear a report from a few synodical entities. We get a nice report from our Wisconsin High School. And, and and it's just a good chance to be encouraged and to encourage. But I would say probably most pastors will share that one of the highlights of the conference or any conference is worship, um, where for the majority of us who are usually up front, it's the opportunity to sit and to be fed um, by word and supper. And the pastor who preached yesterday encouraged us with the words from 1 Samuel chapter 1, um, when Samuel is dedicated to the Lord by his mother Hannah. And uh, I encourage you to read that for yourself in 1 Samuel chapter 1. But there's a phrase in there that I'm going to focus on for our devotion today. <clears throat> Um, it's the husband talking to his wife about the right time to bring this child to the Lord. And then he says this, Do what seems best to you, Hannah. Wait until you've weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. And the encouragement and an application of those words. May the Lord establish his word. And the pastor who was preaching encouraged us as pastors to think about when we were ordained and we were installed as pastors and we promised to carry out our ministry in line with the Holy Word of God and in keeping with the Lutheran confessions and to serve those entrusted to our care. And we made a promise and we said we will, we will and we ask God to help us. We ask that God would work in us what is pleasing to him. And uh, and our leaders of our congregation, when, when they're elected to service, they say something along the same line. We will and we ask God to help us. And the congregation asks for the Lord's blessing as they 
as they honor the, the servants sent among them. May the Lord establish his word. Um, well, what has the Lord promised and what kind of certainty do we have from his word? Well, we have all sorts of certainty. We have the certainty that his ears are open and attentive to our needs. We have the certainty that he desires the salvation of the sinner through Jesus Christ. We have the certainty that his word will not return to him empty. We have the certainty that the Lord Jesus promises to go with his church in their work of baptizing and teaching. He promises to be with us to the very end of the age. We have the certainty that Jesus Christ is where two or three go together in his name or gather together in his name. We have the certainty that... Um, that he's with us, that he continues to be with us, that he continues to be for us. Only may the Lord establish his word. This gives us all the confidence in the world as we carry out ministry in 2023. It gives us all the confidence as we live as his children, redeemed and baptized for this day. It gives us confidence, Jesus says, if you forgive anyone their sins, they are really forgiven. This is the way we can carry out our word. We trust that the Lord, who has established his word, will continue to do so even through us. And so we humbly ask, as the church has asked for ages, we will, but we ask God to help us. We ask that God would prosper. We ask that God would bless. We ask that God would take the work of our hands and multiply it and use it to glorify his name that he would use it also for the salvation of souls it's quite a humbling thing when we consider what jesus tells us this past sunday in the sermon on the mount as we carry out our work of salt and light in this word that they may in this world that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father who is in heaven to that i add a hearty and may the Lord establish his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your servants with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you sent your one and only Son as the word of life for our eyes to see and our ears to hear. Help us believe what the scriptures proclaim about him and do the things that are pleasing in your sight. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We give thee hearty thanks, O Lord, for the rest of this past night and for the gift of a new day, with its opportunities for pleasing thee. Grant that we may so pass its hours in perfect freedom of thy service, that at even tide we may gain again, we may again give thanks unto thee. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen.